Hello and welcome back. Integration for the nation. Enrichment, five star question. This is the integral for today. Uh, pause the video if you're gonna uh, give it a go. Otherwise, just look for, for the solution. It requires further maths for this particular one. So um, uh, some of the techniques like uh, perhaps uh, 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 hyperbolic uh, substitutions, perhaps hyperbolics, possibly uh, inverse trig, I don't know. So we're gonna have a go at it in a second. Okay, uh, where do we start with something which looks like that? It's not actually that bad looking because um, at first glance, it's a mess. But of course, the log of x inside the argument of the sign is quite obvious. We're going to start with the substitution and there's more to that. Uh, the differential of the log of x is 1 over x and that is there. So let's uh, get going with this. Obvious substitution for something like this is to start with u uh, is equal to the log of x. Differentiate it immediately. du by dx is 1 over x and make dx the subject. So dx is going to be equal to x du. So that's the first uh, thing. Let me just move the uh, wire out of the way. And uh, let's transform this particular integral. This will now become the integral of x one plus three sine squared of u now. Uh, the numerator is still a one. And my dx is going to be x du which conveniently will uh, get rid of my x's here and here. So it's actually not that bad. Well, I say that, I hope I don't live to regret it. Uh, one plus uh, three sine squared of u du. So massively simplified. It doesn't look that bad. The question is, what do we do next with something like this? Um, I definitely, when I look at this, uh, I know almost certainly a, a, an approach that will work. I don't know if that's the easiest one. Um, on your on the uh, for the maths course, there is what they're known as the the Weierstrass substitutions. I, I'm not quite sure whether where these are now, nowadays. Uh, I don't know FP3 or whatever you're gonna call it. Um, and this will actually simplify something which looks like that and we can get uh, an answer. I'm talking about the little t identities, basically the substitution t is equal to tan uh, theta over two or u over two in this case, actually should be the tan of u in this particular case, but uh, sorry about that, I'm just making a mess on the board. Where's my rubber? Okay, so the tan of uh, u in this particular case. I know that this almost certainly will work. I don't know how ugly it will be, but uh, that's a choice. Um, is there anything else uh, available to us? Um, this thing here looks like an arctan. I like the look of that purely because it's one plus something um, squared, which is kind of reminds me of arctans. And also this three here, perhaps I'm thinking of the square root of three. Well, we don't have limits, so that's actually quite stupid what I'm just saying, because normally with limits like pi over three and pi over six, arctans of root three and uh, one over root three work. So um, I still can't get my, my mind away from this being an arctan. So there's another thing that I'm seeing in there. I don't know if you can actually see it. Um, if I divide top and bottom of this integrand by cos squared, one over cos squared, one over cos squared, and sine squared over cos squared, what will happen in there? I will get sex, sec squared, sec squared, tan squared. I think that's worth a try. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. If it doesn't work, we go back to the to the little ti identities. Let's give it a go and see what happens if we approach it this way. So I'm dividing top and bottom of the integrand by the cos of squared. So 1 over cos squared of u, 1 over the cos squared of u, plus 3 lots of the sine squared of u over the cos squared of u du. And this will now simplify. Uh, it will become the integral of sec squared, another sec squared plus three lots of a tan squared, all arguments u du. Now that looks not too bad. 
Ifonia didn't have that sex squared in there because then uh, the tan the differentiates to sex squared which is there so uh, I need somehow to manipulate further that doesn't quite uh, um, work uh, maybe we can use the substitution u is equal to tan u and see what happens uh, but for the time being I'm inclined because I can actually change this sex squared to one I think that's good actually because I just realized what will happen now um, I think this method will actually work three tan squared u over sec squared u du and on the denominator we have a one plus four that's brilliant because it produces nice numbers and I have a sec squared u on the numerator I don't know how many of you can actually see that this is almost I think we're just out by constant there um, if you differentiate an arctan uh, with an argument let me just write it here and I will rub it off once I adjust it d by du uh, to get something which looks like that I need to differentiate the arctan and the argument of the arctan must be 2 tan u so that will go to 1 over 1 plus 4 tan squared u times the differential of the uh, uh, tan u which is a 2 sec squared so this will differentiate to 1 actually I need to write it to actually for everybody to see what I'm doing in there plus 4 tan squared u times the differential of 2 tan u which is uh, 2 sec squared of u so if we look at what we got in there we out by this factor of two so if we stick a half in front of it we lose this two and our answer this integrates instantly i guess the substitution u is equal to um not u because we already used u uh, v is equal to tan squared not tan squared i'm writing stupid things all the time these days uh, v is equal to the tan of u it will actually work uh, if you can't quite see it like i've done it up here but for this is five stars and richmond and i hope uh most of you can actually see it. not integral i'm falling asleep today what is wrong with me i'm actually recording in the morning that's what's wrong with me okay so that's equal to a half um a half the arc tan arc tan of two lots of the tan of u plus c and of course we need to take it one step further which is to replace back our use for log x so i'm going to write the answer up here next to the integral which is of course a half arc tan quite an interesting expression two times the tan with an argument of log of x close bracket close bracket plus c so that was uh, <laughs> quite interesting it, it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be i, I guess this method did work really well I, I, I don't know but i'm really curious to see um the method that i think it will uh, it, i wasn't going to do that when i when i started with this particular integral um when i looked at uh, this expression here let me just uh, put it in red and i'm gonna actually give a go from this line now i'm almost certain unless i'm i'm thinking stupid things uh, that we can use the little t identities and also get an answer i don't know if we're going to get exactly the same answer because sometimes when you have trig you can get equivalent expressions that look very very different but they differ by a constant but we'll give it a go so um for this particular one the substitution that we need because we got squared is uh, t the normal one would have been t is the tan of u over 2 but uh, for this particular one we're going to need t is the tan of u if you cannot see why why that that is um and you might be wondering what's that got to do with being square um let me just um, put a few extra lines Probably that's the best thing to do for for this integral so you can en enrich your techniques uh, with your y strass substitution when you're having squared on your sign or the cos so um one plus three nothing to do with that yet um i'm going to replace the sine squared with a half minus a half cos of two u and one du 
multiply my bracket so I'm gonna have 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2 cos of 2u with a numerator of 1 and then just tidy a little bit the integrand multiply top and bottom by 2 will give me 2 5 minus 3 cos of 2u normally for the little t identities you want of course uh, sine of x cos of x and so on here we have the cos of 2u so the substitution we need you need to actually double it so you need to the substitution t is the tan of u if you had for example i don't know let's say the integral of 1 plus the cos of 3x somehow and you need to go little t substitutions the substitution you need for something like that is t is the tan is not of x over 2 is not the tan of x is the tan of 3 x over 2 is half of the argument of what you're seeing really okay so for this one we're going to use the substitution uh, t is equal to the tan of u i'm going to do it here uh, t is tan u need my differential dt is equal to sec squared of u du dt is of course 1 plus tan squared u du dt is equal to 1 plus t squared du because of course my tan of u is t and then i want it for um i didn't put my du in there i'm getting worse by the day um so my du is equal to dt over 1 plus t squared so this is the replacement of the du in this particular expression i also want my cos of 2u so how do the little t identities become for something like this um i claim they're not really affected but uh, if you can't see it and you want to derive them very very quickly i'm going to do it here and then i'm going to rub it off uh, let me just allow a little bit more space the cos of 2u is of course standard trig from year 12 not year 12 year 13 i beg your pardon cos squared u minus sine squared u next line i'm gonna divide by one why is that because uh, i want to write the denominator as cos squared u plus sine squared u and then if you look at this expression i'm going to divide top and bottom of this fraction by cos squared all the way through so all the courses will take it will change into ones and all the sine squares will take it will change into tan squared and of course your t the tan of u is t so it's going to be one minus t one plus t and we're done with this particular one so i'm going to move out of the way and maybe put an extra line here uh, i hope you can still see the board uh, on the video so i'm going to replace first of all the two make sure we don't lose any bits five minus three the cos of two u is all of this 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared and my du is dt over 1 plus t squared so dt over 1 plus t squared and now we got a tidy uh, do we need this the answer is no it can go okay uh do we need any of this no except the substitution when we go back so let's leave the substitution and clear everything else so we're moving now and simplifying uh multiplying now the one plus t squared with the five because it's on the denominator and the one plus t squared with all of this so this will become five times one plus t squared is five plus 5t squared and then when i times the 1 plus t squared with all of this that 1 plus t squared will cancel me on the denominator so it will leave me minus 3 times that and this will give me a minus 3 plus 3t squared and on the top i got my 2 and i got my dt and let's simplify that that looks actually very good it's 8t squared uh, plus 2 with a 2 cancel the 2's 1 over 
40 squared plus 1 dt. Now, I need to write this in the standard form that it appears on the formula booklets. Um, so you need to basically use the form 1 over uh, x squared. I think that's in the formula booklet uh, plus a squared. The integral of that with respect to x is 1 over a arc tan of x over a plus c. So I want to use that. So at the moment, I need to lose that 4 from the t squared. Um, so pull out a 4 from the denominator. So that will be a quarter outside the integral. And then we're going to have a t squared um, plus a quarter. The a quarter, because I want it squared, I'm going to write it as a half squared. Just check that it does work still. That's your quarter there. And a quarter times 4 is 1 dt. And now this is a standard form. So this will give me now one quarter uh, integrated that I need a term of one over a, which is going to be times one divided by half. And then I got the arctan, the arctan of t over a, which is a half plus c. Uh, this will give me half. Uh, this will give me arctan of 2t plus c and uh, what I need to take my substitutions back now step at a time so that's going to be a half arc tan 2 tan of u and you will spare me with the extra line because of course the tan of u the u is the log of x tan of the log yeah it's exactly the same the log of x plus c so we got exactly the same answer uh this was my original plan uh, when, when i looked at this uh, expression um I, I was gonna go little t identities it's fairly fairly standard it's a little bit more tedious as you can see a lot more workings but uh, this will definitely work uh, we're lucky with the other manipulation too so that was actually the first method i showed was a lot easier in fact and i'm, I'm very pleased it, 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 uh, we, we did see this one okay i will be seeing you very soon and who's laughing now i am <laughs>